Hello everyone, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the variables in the Postman. So let's begin. Variables in the Postman are used to store a data or value. Once you have stored a value in that particular variable, you can use that variable into your environment collection and your request. Now, what is the benefit of using the variables in the Postman? The major benefit of using the variables in the Postman is that you have to define it at one place. Then you can call that variable into your collection and request. So tomorrow, if you want to update any value in your collection and request, you just need to update at one place. Now let's learn variables more in detail with the real time example. For example, you are working on a project and your project has seven APIs and the base URL of your APIs is www.baseurl.com. And suddenly you got a change request from the client or from the management that the new URL would be the www.newbaseurl.com. Now, what will you do? In this particular case, you have to go to the each and every API request and you need to update the base URL. Now, this task would be very tedious. You need more efforts to update your API request. Now see how that particular variables will help you in this particular case. In this particular example, what I did is that I created a variable called base URL and give that variable a value of that particular base URL. So now what will you do is that you need to pass that variable into your API request. You can see that I have just mentioned the base URL, base URL, base URL in the API request. Now, if you get the same change request with the new URL, which is which is www.newbaseurl.com. Now, what will you do? Now, this is really simple. You just go to that particular variable base URL and update this particular value to www.newbaseurl.com. And that's it. This will automatically update the value in all your requests. So you don't need to go to each and every request to update the value. So this is the major benefit of using the variables in the Postman. Now we will see that how we can call or refer the variables in the Postman. So let's suppose if you have defined the variable called base URL, then how you will call that variable in your request or in your collections. This is very really simple in the Postman. You just need to provide double curly braces provide the name of that variable and close with the double curly braces and that's it. Now open the postman so that we can see that practically. In one of our previous sessions, what we did is that we created an environment. We set up the environments. In that particular time, what we did is that we created a variable and we utilized that variable in our collections. Just click on this I button so you can see that this is a variable here and this is the value here. Right. So this is this is how we actually set up the environment variable. Now go to the collection and see how we actually refer that particular variable. Just click on this collection. Open any of the APIs. Here you can see that we just provided two curly braces name of that variable and close with the two curly braces. This is how you can refer and call the variables in the Postman. Postman supports the five different variables based on their scope. The number one is global, then collection, environment, data, and local variable. Global variable has a larger scope and it can be accessed throughout your collection environment and request in that particular workspace. We still haven't covered the workspace, so don't worry about that. We will cover the workspace in detail in our upcoming sessions. Then we have a variable called collection. This particular variable is utilized and called in that particular collection. It cannot be accessed outside that particular collection. Environment variable had a different scope and they are just limited to the environments, such as if you want to define QA, staging and pre-prod, it will help you to switch between the environments whenever you want to run your APIs against any particular environment. Data variables are basically come from your external files. For example, if you're providing some data from the CSV or JSON, that particular value will be set and used in the collection runner on the new man. In the last, we have a local variable. This variable is defined on the request level and this is a temporary variable. Once you have executed your request, it will no longer be available. In Postman, you would be mostly working with the global environment and the collection variables. So let's see how we can create the global collection and the environment variable. So first we will see how to create a global variable. Just click on this I button, click on add it. Just provide the name. 
provide the value initial and current value and just click save that's how you can just create a global variable now it will be accessible throughout your collections here because you are currently working in your workspace now let's see how we can create an environment variable just click on this one choose any environment click here I'm giving it name as environment providing value and update because this environment variables were already created in our previous sessions so we will just click on update here now we will see how we can create a variable for the collection just hover your collections you will see a three dot here just click on that click on add it go to the variables provide the name of that variable initial value and current value and click update now you are done with your collection variable as well now this particular variable can be accessed throughout this particular collection thank you so much for watching this tutorial see you in the next lecture